is Maria. My crib's, Parker's crib's not old yet. But it's this not is a great old idea. yet. I love this. No. It's a great idea. And, well, it's Happy National Brothers Day, everybody. Oh, oh. It is National Brothers Day. And I happen to have two boys. I don't have brothers. Oh. Um, I am a sister. So, no, <laughs> I, I have two boys. You can see here we have Grant and Aww. JJ. And I will tell you, just seeing the, even their relationship now, JJ just smiles when he Aww. sees Grant, and Grant is so great about being such a great big brother, and I just want them to have a relationship like what yeah. you boys have. Yeah. I will say, Kai and Avery, I, I just knew, look at, they, oh my they gosh, don't DIY they together, <laughs> they play music together. That's, so That's cool. great, and though. regardless, it's art. It's artistic. Yeah. Exactly, it's that, that and I love that. I love so proud of them. And I want to, I'm, I'm proud of my babies. They're just so much I smaller. I just hope my mom likes Metallica. <laughs> that's what she's going to hear when they Well, hear. that's okay. And, you know, so <laughs> you have music. more songs, the boys. You have music in your house, and I don't have Metallica in mine. I have DIYs. <laughs> so that is what inspired me to create this lovely activity center. So when you, you have your cribs and you don't know what to do with them mm -hmm. afterwards, this is a great idea to encourage the kids to play together. And so this is an actual crib that I made. And, and do an activity. It's well, phenomenal. let's take a look how you Such got started on this because this has got a lot of work behind it. So you it. just need to take the uh, front part off of the crib. Uh -huh. Obviously, there's four sides to the crib. So this is just the front little gate area. And uh, it's uh, so fun when you actually move to the big kids, you know, the big kid bed. And then this is called a pipe strap. And this is what we do put on the side. Um, and you actually just screw it in. Uh, really okay. simple. And this is what's going to keep that front part up when it's, because, you know, you need the support from taking off the front. Oh, God. And then just painted it white. So it's That's it. That's it. And oh, then, because okay. I wanted to go with a nautical theme, so that's why okay, I thought the your, white was a really sure. great base. Okay, okay. but then you added all these accoutrements. So I you added fancy. Stuff. I added. So stuff. how do we make the life preservers? Because those are really aren't they adorable. really fun? So the life preservers are. Uh, I wanted to make them sort of like vintage and customized. So these are actually just like the floral wreaths, like the styrofoam yeah. things you get at the craft supply store. And this is called Cellu Clay. He's there, right that. there. Cellu Clay. And then, um, so the reason I did this, and I've worked with Cellu Clay before. What is it? It's um, another form of clay. Oh. And so, no, it's like basically like a paper mache. And so what you do is, the, it comes as like a powdered form. Yeah. And uh, it, you can really shape almost anything with it because it hardens up. Got so it. then you, it's the powder and then you add water to it. Mm -hmm. And you can see, you uh, do it until you get the consistency that you like. And then all you really need to do is on here, I would probably work in a covered, um, on a covered surface as well. Like you can see we have the craft paper down here, but you could do a wax paper. And then huh. you can do this all over the whole thing. Mold it all the way how around. How long does it take it to get hard? It can, take, it can take up to 24 hours, depending on how much liquid. So after I put like the layer here, yeah. um, and then I would do dip my hand in the water, and then smooth, smooth it, out. it out. Would yeah. you set it out in the sun to dry? Yes, yeah. that'd, that'd be great. Just to get the that water That would be to great. And would it, does this, when you pour it, does it get like all... <sighs> It goes all you know over the place. So, okay. It goes all over the place. It's non-toxic, but I, I would do it uh, outside. Okay. I would try And maybe wear a mask? You could. I okay. mean, yeah, you could. It's non-toxic, but you don't want to inhale any You're little right. particles or anything anyways. Talk about these anyways. sails that are floating I over there. Know. This is That's amazing. So cute. It makes this me want to sing, like, come sail away, but I won't. <laughs> oh, I will not, not do that like to it. you guys. So I will tell you, this is just a dowel here uh -huh. that... Uh, you can see actually the just zip tied in and also yeah. some a glue gun mm -hmm. uh, that we just did there. But you can use like a wood glue as well. And then this is just rope and this is a no sew situation we have over really? here. Yeah, you just oh. take the fabric, fold it over, and then use a glue gun oh. along here and then just wrap it around here with the glue gun. This is all some glueage happening here and some rope. All right. And that's and then, really it. And what about the other little we, things? We have to that steer are the ship, don't we? Oh, yeah. So the steering wheel that we have right here is super cute, Mark. That's right in yeah. front of you. Oh, oh, so oh. when you go, when you're getting this, this wreath, you're getting this like floral wreath here. These are just the floral uh, wreaths in the same area. It's just a flatter one. Mm -hmm. And you, they come in different sizes. Uh, this is 18 inches, 6 inch. And then these are just little popsicle stick things. They come in different sizes. You could use paint stirrers as well. And then just glue them on. That's you could it. use and a wood glue. What a great just idea. Cut it and yeah, so you just, like exactly, that. just and cut it and do that to have it so it's long enough. And, paint it. and, and you paint could do a wood glue or you could use glue gun and then painted it and that's really it. And then covered it with uh, the paper right. for them so they can color on there. And, I love uh, that idea. This is such a great idea. It's, it's a perfect so little fun. desk. It's so but fun. But it encourages Maria. their inner creativity. It does. Oh my goodness. Which is so important. And repurposing an old crib so you don't need to buy anything new and you don't care if like they do color on it or anything like that. Right. So it allows some creative freedom. And you know it already fits in the space. Exactly. <laughs> that is perfect.